Welcome to Vectorio Space Exploration. My name is Niklaus and we are continuing on this uh, journey and I will be guiding you through this uh, this wonderful mod, pa mod pack and all the challenges that it presents. Uh, we have uh, uncovered or completed a major hassle or major hurdle uh, last time and that was uh, getting to the utility science which enables us to get logistics chests, a uh, logistics system which gives us a requested chest and of course the first thing we want to do when we have a requested chest is start utilizing it. So there's a lot of things that uh, is now is uh, available. Uh, one of them is a hub, a robot hub on, uh, on the base and we'll also eventually make one in orbit as well. But look at this magnificent thing. Uh, this is pretty simple so it's not something we're going to go through and, and how we want to do it but today's episode will be all about automating rocket cargo rocket transport between a planet and orbital base and it's actually going to make, be made so generic that it'll work for everything anywhere that's at least a hope so uh hope that is interesting that's something that i know can be a little bit complicated maybe more than a little bit complicated for space exploration mod so it's um it's worth going into a little more detail. First, we'll just uh, have a look at this hub just to get a sense of what it does. Basically, it grabs things in here and then it uh, puts it into passive provider chest. And from here, the robots will bring it in into this location. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I don't have anywhere else that I put these things that I need for the hub into the logistics network. And there are, of course, some things that I'm not putting into this logistics network. I guess like something like plastic is used in such small quantities that I didn't really bother to bring it in by train because we can get a maximum of 12 trains inbound. So we get 12 trains inbound and we'll never have a train outbound. But this allows us to do all the things that we don't have in our normal hub. Uh, for example, the stuff we do have in our normal hub, like belts and ins inserters and power poles, like stuff you need a lot, a lot, a lot of. We have that in our hub because we can then manage it by belts and that's fine until we need to, to get the blue belts but for now this is working fine these are the high quantity items these are maybe a little bit lower quantity items but also a little more complicated items such as some of the stuff like um like rocket silos and uh, cannons and you know locomotives things that you don't need a vast quantity of but you definitely don't want to be handcrafting all the way through also uh, personal robot locations but we don't want to have like the super high throughput items put in here so this is very nice and uh, that will be something we're going to work on. So let's uh, start by looking at uh, finding a location where we can take a look at what it is we actually want to do today. So we want to automate the cargo rocket. That means we want to make sure that we launch a rocket and we send it the right place. Let's have a look at how this works. So we need to make sure that we get space capsules in. They are being produced in the new hub. We uh, have to make sure we get cargo rocket sections in. That's not a problem. We can do that with the with a beautiful little uh, requested chest and it's just 20 items inbound the 20 uh, pack stacked stacked ones we get in so that's easy and then some rocket fuel inbound 50,000 so you know that's about uh, that's 1,000 uh, rocket fuel that we need to put in and then it'll be a, turned into 50,000 rocket liquid rocket fuel and then of course the cargo I'm going to be setting up I don't want to fill it up entirely um, I want to just send that we'll send it when there's more than when there's at least 200 stacks of uh, goodies in here then we need to make sure that where it's uh, where it's going uh, now there's orbit and then we can select one of these locations i've already pre uh, pre allocated them currently we have a very simple setup let's have a look at that uh, where we have some combined uh, some combined rockets let's have a look uh, this is the combined rocket so this rocket will sort of keep stuff coming in here and then it'll uh, prevent stuff com from coming in when i don't request it in orbit but it's a little bit of a lag it's just filling up with many things and then if you only need copper for example then you're going to have to launch the rocket just for the copper and what about everything else and you know it's a, it's not great i want to have a setup where we have one rocket for one item and then maybe a few rockets for sort of multiple items that we need, just need vast quantities of i think that's the overall idea for this and um, that's how it's uh, it's going to be set up. So we'll re, uh, retire these. These are getting the information from orbit about what is needed. You can see the red items, uh, the red circuit network tells us what is needed in orbit. And that's what we, uh, we know that we will start loading on here uh, for this location. But I don't want this. I want it somewhere on some, something else. So um, we need to make sure that it also has a goes to a specific location. This one is a generic like my train network. So I can at any given location eventually have a landing pad and i'll call it call this this on and then as long as i send the information back to this network 
um, then I will be able to launch a rocket automatically. So I can land on a planet and then make a landing pad, rename it to landing pad iron and inbound, and then send a signal back to anywhere, and then it'll automatically uh, fuel, fill up enough fuel and send a rocket of iron to that uh, planet. But right now we only have it on the, on ours and in orbit, so we'll we'll deal with that right now. But it'll make it generic. Right, so these are already done. We'll need, need to stay here. And it shouldn't just be an hour's orbit. It should be any landing pad with this name, which means we don't really know where we're going, but we'll... Oh, we do know because there's only one and that's open. Um, so then we'll have a trigger and I want to say launch on green signal or when cargo is full. No, launch on green signal when cargo is full. No, launch on green signal when fuel is full. That sounds good uh, because I want to control the on the green there we can't launch if there's no if there's not enough fuel so it has to be fuel is full and then i'll send a green signal so we need to figure out what are the conditions for the green signals that we want to put inbound and we want to check a number of things uh don't we have some decider combinators so we want to get a number of things uh, detected and let's see here and let's get some power into this location so we get and first of all i am going to need a I don't have that. I need one of these. Yep, we'll get that coming from the hub. So that should be fine. So this one will be right now just to go from Nova's orbit. And I'll probably have uh, have this being something more generic than this. But that's fine. And we'll go on to our here. And that will go into one of these locations. Because the first thing we want to detect is... You can see here, what is it? Let's say we are looking at uh, low density structures. So one of the launch conditions is that there is a demand from orbit of low density structure. Then I'm going to give you a yellow indicator. So, um, rotate, 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 rotate. And let's also make sure that these are okay. And that one is here. I'll go another one. And, <clears throat> um, yeah i'm just figuring out how i want this i want this to go and then i want the green one to go in here and this one should be if a yellow signal is greater than zero then put it in here there and this one should then be red green signal is greater than all right so one condition is does the does something somewhere request it? Yes. Okay. Second condition. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, that looks better. And that one also has to go in. Cool. So, um, second condition is. Hmm. Do I have enough cargo in here? And we can uh, we can see how much cargo is in this location. Uh, this E. In the, uh, val variable says how many available there are and if I go like this and put one two three stacks in here then I'll get a signal of f equal three that means there are three stacks of stuff in here so I have a condition here that says f which is the fullness is greater than or equal to 200 that is how many stacks because then I don't have I don't care about the actual quantity I just know that there's something in there there's 200 stacks of something in in there and that will give us also a yellow one so that's another thing this also this has to be true this has to be true uh, i need to make sure that i have enough fuel okay um fuel is l is the amount of fuel we need so something has to be equal to or greater than l and that will be the actual rocket fuel that's on the liquids here so i need Liquid fuel is at least as much as the requested fuel. If that's true, then signal a yellow one. All right. And then we want to make sure that it actually has the capsules and the rock cargo rocket segments. And there is actually a special indicator that's called cargo rocket. That will be true when, uh, when that is actually true. So now we have four conditions that must all be true before we launch the rocket. And this one be that means that if all of these are true, then send a green signal and send that green signal in here. There you go. Let's take this one and put it up to a location 
uh, for one of the, for one that is ready to go. So this one should be ready to go. So if I set my uh, signal in here, uh, now we are going to uh, set here. So I will get the red signal into the this one. The red signal comes from the signal receiver, and that gives us an indication here of are we actually uh, getting stuff inbound. Uh, how I absolutely don't like that the uh, red one. This is on the red wire. This should not be on the red wire. There. Um, still is. How come it still is? It isn't. Oh, indie landing pad. Oh, it does. Oh, it's because it. Hmm. Oh, because it doesn't have L is equal A. Oh, okay, right. They're both zero. That's why. But this should be true there because it's greater than zero then i take these three things one oh these things and then get them in here so that means do we have the capture on rocket yes that means this one is turning on do we have enough rocket fuel yes we do that one do we have at least 200 stacks in here mm, yes 342 yes we have at least 200 stacks and that would result in It's, I think that I made a mistake here. Uh, that one goes, yes, it has to go from the outside of us. Good. So that would uh, indicate that now that's green. So this works now that we have done it. So what we really need is now a change of, of setup here so that we can have eight trains in, we can have a signal receiver and we can then have eight rocket silos, each with this pattern available and also some uh, rocket fuel in. And with the power of wishing our way forward, I have now actually built this <laughs> this part. It is uh, quite massive and uh, it's, it takes a little bit of explanation to how it works. So first things first, trains. And uh, let's take the engineering. Two train stations in and I have set up, now oh, how do we, okay. first of all, the purpose of this block is to send eight items to orbit. These are the eight items we're monitoring. I'm just uh, using this one so that we know what are the things that are being requested. So that means five of these rockets are actually requesting stuff uh, or five of these eight items are being requested in orbit. So that means that if once the whole thing gets going, then we should start seeing something flying up here. And that goes in on the red wire. The red wire goes all the way around and it goes into these locations here, which uh, indicate whether this rocket should be, uh, should be filling up and should be putting in. Uh, the train stations are normal generic train stations. Why well, I think we want to just start uh, requesting them. I've set up the usual requesters here, but I have not set up the actual names because that is uh, when things actually start working. So here we go. We should see, well, we should see this one coming in eventually. <clears throat> I hope. Um, then we can start getting the other ones in here and that will be changing the names of all of these so that they come in. That one and we should see one coming in yes this one i don't like the fact that it's not coming in you are being uh, loaded mm, hopefully yeah it's going to be loaded quickly and then hopefully it will it needs to go to 600 we'll see if it comes in it should be coming in so what happens now is that it unloads as usual it goes on here and this one will empty uh, as fast as it can these are set to a condition when f is less than 200 so that means gets it up to 200 oh Less than or equal to? Less than? Mm. No, that means when it, they when it gets 200, they stop. This should be fine. We'll see. Going down here. Next one is copper down here. So we have to set up this as a copper facility. Uh, request copper. I love this train uh, network. It is absolutely gorgeous. The fact that we can just do this one and then everything will just start working. Uh, zero of one, one of one. Oh, no. So steel's not really coming in. I need to look in, into why that's not coming in. I think it's a matter of, oh uh, yes, because someone has a tendency to blow up my trains, it hasn't, it happens, then they kind of start unloading unevenly and then they get stuck in different places sometimes. Uh, what about you? You're waiting here. Yeah. Okay, that is a very slow train. I am pretty sure we do not have enough. We have three of these steel locations and we have four trains. That's not enough. We need six trains if they have four of those. So let's add two more steel trains. All right, two more steel trains are added. I want uh, to make sure that I have two, location, two trains waiting for each of the steel 
location because otherwise, as we saw right now, we actually had two trains waiting here and I mean, one of these other ones that are actually useful and working wasn't actually loading anything and we need two trains here, one being loaded and one being sort of out and about. Cool, that works. Oh, it also looks like this is working. This is great. Oh, it's going to be super uneven, actually. Um, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So let me, let's make sure that that actually gets uh, more even. Uh, let's see. I think we can actually do it like this. There. I think that works. Funny how uh, that just uh, terminated anyway. Uh, but this one has to keep going. Right, let's uh, continue. The steel is coming in, hopefully. Now we have six. Some of them are... Oh, there we go. Steel works. Great. Next one is um, glass. Okay, so here we set that as glass inbound. That's this one, I hope. And the low density structure inbound. Here. And we go up to the next one. I'm just quickly switching on this is... Now the heat shielding, so not to be confused with glass, they are very much, uh, very close to similar here. And then a stone, and a stone is going to be a really big problem in this base right now. I realize that I'm actually running out of stone because some idiot has decided to use all the stone for landfill. Oops, that happens. And this one's not really working. Mm. How are you doing? Ah, right, that's why. It's uneven load. We really need to solve that problem as well. All right, so now let's figure out what's happening. So what happens is that the rocket fuel, which isn't doing so great, actually. Uh, let's see if it can fill up here. Uh, yeah, we definitely need more rocket fuel. Well, that is what it is. But the rocket fuel that comes in... Let me make sure that that goes... Yeah, get that in there. So it goes out, goes in here. We want to make sure that we actually have uh, fuel here. Right, they are being uh, transformed as efficiently as possible. They go out into this network of four boxes. That means they can have 100,000 stored, plus whatever is in the, uh, the network. It's not a lot, but each rocket is going to use uh, 50,000. So that means at once we have the 50,000, it's going to be fine. Uh, I could make it bigger, but I kind of like the symmetry of this part here. Each of these are just filling up. This is now up to 8,000. And if we look at the F value, that's uh, 82 stacks in here. But we're not quite done yet, are we? No, we're not. Uh, these ones are going to uh, also request stuff inbound. And they are going to go in here. So I have two different locations. And I also need to make sure that I have some conditions. Because this one will be requesting... And space capsules and I don't want the space capsules to be filling up here so I only want one in each so that means this is on a green wire coming from here because this will tell us what it actually has so that means it'll tell us when that one is um, less than one that's the enable condition enable condition for these two and the other one will be enable condition being uh, this part less than 100 Good. And copy, paste. Then we're going to take out. Oh, no, not yet. And this one will be requesting one space capsule coming right up there. Yes, I could do more. And this one is going to... Ooh, this is bad. Hmm. Because this is now requesting the stuff that goes directly in. But that's not really what I want. Okay, let's not do this. I need to do a, a, a kind of different thing here. There you go. I'll take... Yeah, that might be a little bit uh, fidgeting because what I really want is here, which also has to be this one. These will be unpacking. They are unpacking, unpacking, which means they need to be getting from this location and then getting into this location. Like that. Okay. And then the green wire will then be also different. It'll come from here to here to here. And from here to here to here. And that means this will request the packed ones. Because those are the ones we have. Ten of those? Sure. I don't want to stack too many. And this conditions go over there. This condition will be changed to one of these copy 
paste, and this will now be one rocket pad. Right, so now this here requests one of these uh, the, the cap capsules. We'll go into either one of those, but uh, then it'll be stopping whichever one goes first. This here will be getting... Oh, um, yeah, okay, so this works. They're going into these locations, being unpacked and being put in here. Let's have a look at the value. Uh, we can't really see the value because uh, I don't want this to be going out. So uh, I'll just temporarily get that one in here so we can see what it actually is. So it says one space capsule, that one turns off. And it says 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Uh, and that should also just turn off eventually. Good. So this is now the new setup. And do I also want that? Yes. Yes, let's do that. And that will then be replicated to the other ones. Luckily, everything is uh, pretty generic here. So I will be, I'll be, oops, where are we? We're going here. And then place it, request, request, sweet. And they are connected, good. And I'll do the same thing over here. Done. And the last one. And that should also be good. Is it coming in? Yes. Uh, no, it's not. This one's not coming in. That doesn't matter. We'll, oops. We'll take uh, just these two out. I don't need them in my inventory. So they might be just happily going into one of these locations. And there's 10 of this be inbound. Let's have a look at, uh, let's take this one. Cargo rocket segment is coming in. Liquid fuel is coming in. Cargo is coming in. It's all good. And we can start seeing that there's a request for it. That Oh, this one says it has enough fuel. Really? Oh, because I haven't set this. So next, that's the next part. Now let's take a look in orbit because they're going to land somewhere as well. So this is our orbital base and uh, the bus we built last time. I have now built this part up here, some landing pads, some large logistics ch chest. Yes, it's uh, using logistics chest in orbit is a little bit hard on the robot attrition. It sucks, but um, at one at some point I'll just accept the robot attrition. And at this point, I'll just accept that they're slow in transfer. And then I can also from this part, I can do uh, belt outbounds. So I should be okay in terms of uh, of using this and we have uh, set each of these up this one will be called iron inbound and it will move everything all the iron into this box this box needs to be filtered as well for iron there we go and then the next one is for copper yes and it also has a name copper inbound this one is steel inbound and this one should then be steel filter i guess you get the picture and uh, what i also have is in these locations the here, the capsule and the rock cargo rocket segments will go in and they'll be thrown out and then they'll be picked up at some point and thrown back to orbit. Right now, they just need to be picked up and get out of here so they don't jam this location. Um, but anyway, we'll uh, set all of these up. Now, each of these are now ready to receive. And what I also have prepared is that I am probably going to need more robots, uh, robot ports at later point. So I have uh, built it so that I can take this whole thing and replicate it up here and still have robot ports in the middle and that will be necessary because i'll also need to build one up here and that's how many we want inbound eventually when the whole thing is said and done but remember this is like a one-time investment so i'm not going to be using more resources just because i have big buffers and you know i like big buffers and we have big buffer chests as well so that is uh, all ready to go here and uh, what we need to do is go back to each one of these let's have a look at this this seems to be uh, done right now um, is F is done? It says that it's 200,000. That's, oh, right. It just got, it's less than, oh, okay. Hmm, that's funny. Because it, that means it starts on the last stack, but it doesn't complete the last stack. Hmm, okay. Well, that's still fine. So we won't be sending 20,000 up there. We'll be sending 19,000 uh, and 25. Yeah, it's a little annoying, isn't it? I think it is. So what we could do is just do this one and simply be, make it. Um, it's true when it's less than or equal to. There. And then these three will just be replicated everywhere because that's it's not dependent on uh, what is being put in. It's only dependent on, um, on 
how much is in there. There we go. There. So you can see this one will now be 10,000. This one will be 20,000. And then a little bit more. Yes. A little stack more. That's a lot better. Um, copper is done. So what we look at here, the con uh, the steel is iron is being requested. The rocket is ready. Not enough fuel. And uh, we have filled it up sufficiently. So when all of these are true, then we should actually just launch it. But before we do that, we have to make sure that we say any na name that has that has this, and then this should, should be iron inbound. And then we should do an automatic trigger that says when green signal and full. Now, do I want to do this right now? No, because I don't have the rocket fuel and I need to get that. So right now I'm setting it to manual because we want to make sure that we can actually get more of the rocket fuel inbound before we uh, we get started on this. But I will set these conditions for all of them. Any name with this one. And that's going to be copper inbound. Not changing this one just yet. Uh, why did all the liquid fuel disappear? Did this one just not... Oh, okay, this is the stupid way that liquid fuel works. So this one just doesn't get anything until this one is completely done. Oh, well. Um, eventually, everything will need to have what it needs to have. So this one will be steel. There we go. This one is... It says zero inbound. And this one will be glass. And next one will anything with this name. And it will be low density. Anything with the name. And that will be heat shielding. Ah, there we go. Finally, we get the heat shielding. And anything with this name. And that will be stone. And the last one. Anything with this name. And fuel. Yes. This one does not have a space capsule. That's interesting. Uh, do we have any space capsules? All the other ones sort of have a, a bonus space capsule. So I'm just going to put you into that one. And then it goes in and you have a space capsule as well, but you don't have the rocket parts. They are also coming in. So at this point, we'll just have to wait some time for more rocket fuel to come in. And then we'll wait some time for uh, for these ones to fill up. And as the first one fills up, we'll start going in. I think I also need to have a bigger uh, icons. And there is a setting, mod setting and startup and scale container alt icon with size. Click, click, click. I need to do that as well. And now it's just chugging along and finally getting progress. And what I also decided was, why would I send rockets that are half empty? That just didn't make any sense. Didn't make any sense to me that I would send it with the two, 200 out of the 500 I can have. So now I decided to send it with 300 instead, or 400 instead. So we're now waiting for these to fill up to 400. One of them has been uh, uh, ready, and that's this one, because each stack is only 10. So this one is ready. It's the only one we can see that uh, the rocket is ready and we can see that it has enough fuel and we can see that uh, it is full of this is now set also to 400 and it is not ready to launch because there is no request of from orbit to get more bro uh, rocket fuel up there and if when that happens then we'll send 4000 rocket fuel up there in a rocket a rocket full of rocket fuel um, and that means that is if we look at this this is only at 31,000 and it needs to get to 40,000 so it's going to take a little bit more uh, this is also 32,000 this is 31,000 it was about the same time that I, I did this uh, this one's kind of stuck these ones need to get to 20,000 so it's going to be a little bit more but we'll just uh, we'll just sit and wait for this one to fill up I mean we have enough iron it's just uh, being filled up into this buffer and then send off this though and this is a uh, come back to what I do on twitch um, is going to be my most valuable location. So a, I try to spread them out a little bit so that if someone nukes, then a nuke in the middle will not destroy these. A nuke out here will at maximum, at most, destroy two rocket silos at once. It's still a lot of, uh, of uh, sort of resources that I lose, but I'm just trying to sort of spread them out and minimize the amount of, uh, of damage a, a, a bomb can, can drop. And if you don't know what that is, then come join on Twitch as a streamer. I'm streaming it on Sundays at 8 p.m. Central European time on Twitch TV slash Nilaus. If you uh, think this is an amazing blueprint and a really cool design, then you can uh, get access to all of my uh, designs by getting the safe games. And you can just download and you can just copy it uh, as you wish whoosh, and uh, put it into your own base. Uh, if you if you are building, if you're playing base exploration as well and you find this to be useful, then you can do that. And that all it takes is a uh, save game and you get I get ex I give access to save games 
to my Patreon supporters, or if you are a Patreon supporter of Protector Rank or higher, you get access to all my save games for pretty much all the games I've played, Satisfactory, Factorio, and uh, all, you name it, and you can just download the save games from there. Cool, I think we're, uh, we're ready to launch right, almost. And so we're very, very close to hitting this. We're at 394 stacks. And uh, once that happens, I will actually set this to a green signal when full. And that means I shouldn't be doing anything. It should just launch by itself whenever it reaches 400. And this one is 398. Look at the F number, 398, 399. Very close. When it hits 400, it should just automatically launch. It's already starting to put things in here. Oh, it's launching. It is launching absolutely amazing. Let's uh, also set the, well, let's actually confirm that it works. So put some in manually and then it starts filling up again, just all the way from the, from scratch. And we will then use the opportunity to go into this mode and take a look up here and, oh, lo and behold. And these will immediately start filling in here. And I will, yes, this one is also being emptied. And if we look at our location here, once this one reaches 2000, oh, right, it should then down here that we are identifying what is missing up in orbit. We should no longer have iron being requested. Great. So we go back down here and we can see that iron is no longer being requested from orbit. We can also see it up here. Iron is no longer requested. It looks like it's working. Uh, this one is at 39. So let's uh, actually just set you to green and signal. And let's have a look at uh, here. It says 397. So let's also see if the copper is working uh, when this one launches. Ready, 399 and go. Automatically launching. And then it still says that it requests, but that's fine. And we can also see here, fuel is filling up quickly because we have enough fuel here to just fill up these. Maybe I could make a bigger fuel deposit. It'll mean that I can only launch every six minutes, I think which I think is fine. Um, and let's have a look at steel. Oh, steel is interesting because steel is not even complete yet, which we can then see this, the rocket is not completed because we're missing some cargo rocket segments. Um, and we might have some cargo rocket segments placed here uh, from the other locations. Oh, this one's not actually working. All right, so we don't actually have enough cargo rocket segments down here. I wonder where they went. They went out. Oh, they are unpacking. So up here, we are almost there. And this one is also almost there. And uh, what we can then do is we can check that it works. Oh, this one's working. So green signal. Is steel requested? Yes. Oh, it just uh, launched immediately. Now it's just animation stuff. Uh, this one will also launch in there. It says launch disabled. Why? Because the rocket is not built yet and it is not requested from orbit either so this uh, the glass will not go this one can be set it is disabled because it doesn't have enough and it doesn't have uh, it, it doesn't have enough cargo rocket components sections and it does not have uh, enough fuel in, or uh, content in there to send it but it is requested from orbit so that's definitely something we need to take a look at moving forward getting some better builds for these kind of things oh this one doesn't even have a rocket capsule anymore oh wow uh yeah so things are just going to be lacking a little bit but uh, this was also like this is eight rockets we were just decided to be building and launching at uh, at a moment's notice so interesting uh this one also missing a capsule i suppose the capsule will get there when it gets there it's also not requested, so don't care. This one is uh, not requested, so also should not care. We can set that to green. It is ready to go, but not requested, and therefore it's idle. So I think we've actually been seeing pretty much all of the different locations or different situations that could arise. Um, and uh, I think that's uh, that's great. This one should be... Is it requested? No, it's not requested. But that means this rocket will get ready and be ready to launch. What also means that if some friendly twitch chatter decides to uh, uh, subscribe and then the lock ro rocket launches nearby i can just go in and click launch and it will at least save the rocket so i lose the rocket silo but i won't lose the rocket full of goodies so that's um that's also really nice actually so that's a, if i'm fast enough we can we can still save it and we look in orbit go back to orbit and then we should see up here these are coming in and copper is something that we have uh, desperately needed up here 
and that will now be brought into this location like obviously i could just build it in here and i will build it in here but uh that's you know that's the next stuff we'll do that on the live stream build it from up here all these locations uh, as they come in and uh, get there and that means we now get copper going copper was the one that was holding us up and that was the one that was preventing us from actually making um yeah making there this one the polished cards things what are they called polished data cards yes polished data cards which goes in here and becomes machine cards uh, machine data machine learning data great and that means we are now producing again we're producing a little bit of science again yay science this one and it'll be picked up and it'll be brought over here and that means we can slowly get start get back on track with our our uh, our science facility is getting started or getting uh, getting active again i will also need to disable some of the other stuff from the other locations like uh, like this but back to the planet uh, this is ready and this is ready and the other ones are just missing a little bit here and there no problems at all so i th i hope that this was useful to you um, if you are playing if you're playing space exploration yourself then i think that one of the toughest part is making sure that you have a robust rocket launching system that can that is generic so you set it once and then you it'll manage itself this one will be able to send to any location as long as it's going to be recognized by the signal receiver and then it will send a rocket there it'll find out how much is needed based on any landing pad with this name so when i land on new planet i can simply make a uh, and if i want 40,000 iron plates then i can just summon 40,000 rocket plates probably don't want 40,000 rocket plates probably just going to be taking some uh, uh, some cannon shots and, uh, and getting some cannon shells inbound instead cool so if you enjoyed it if you found it useful be sure to hit the like button if there's something uh, fundamental i'm missing about this setup then uh, by all means let me know in the comment section and then i can address that in a future video uh, in the future videos i'll be going to my second planet the volcanic planet for unlocking some vulcanite so we can get some more tech unlock and then we'll it'll be more expanding into space base and especially eventually space trains and all that cool stuff so Lots, lots more to, to happen in uh, this series. I think we're maybe like 20% uh, into the series. So it's going to run for a long time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for joining on Twitch. And also a particular thanks to patron supporters who are supporting the channel. And of course, I know a lot of you do it for access to safe games. But I know that you're also doing it because then you can support the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.